Welcome to another episode of CBRN Academy. In this educational video, we'll take a look at gas mask filters. Typical gas mask filters are disposable cartridges used for air purification. Depending on the filtration method they're based on, there are three main filter types available. Particle filters, gas filters and combined filters. Particle filtration method uses a physical barrier that protects against dust, particles, fibers, mists, fumes and microorganisms such as viruses and bacteria. This type of filtration, however, doesn't protect against vapors and gases. In Europe, particle filters are classified into three classes according to their efficiency of filtering particles from the ambient air. P1 filters have the lowest filtration efficiency, while P3 filters have the highest. Additional R marking on the particle filter label means the filter can be used multiple times and not just once. Filters marked with the D symbol have passed the additional dolomite clogging test, meaning a slower increase of breathing resistance over longer period of use. Gas filters usually consist of activated carbon to provide protection against vapors, chemical substances and toxic gases. Activated carbon has been treated with oxygen to open up millions of tiny pores on its surface, which have the ability to physically trap molecules of certain chemicals. This process is called physisorption. In general, activated carbon will only filter organic chemicals and it is ineffective against inorganic chemicals. That's why the activated carbon is treated with certain chemicals for additional adsorption of certain kinds of gases by a process called chemisorption. Activated carbon filters are very effective at filtering odors. Every industrial gas filter has a specific color code that tells you which harmful gases and vapors the filter protects against. Gas filters are split into three classes according to their capacity, which indicates the maximum concentration of gas or vapor that the filter can protect against. Class 1 filters have the smallest capacity, while class 3 filters have the largest. A commonly used unit for measuring the concentration of a substance is part per million or ppm. Due to the nature of how activated carbon filters work, they have a limited lifespan. Once the surface area of the activated carbon is saturated, it is no longer able to bind molecules and loses its protective properties. It is worth noting that carbon filters alone are not effective when it comes to filtration of particles such as dust and pollen. Luckily, most CBRN filters are combined and therefore include a layer for particle filtration. Combined gas mask filters contain both particle filtering layer and activated carbon. In terms of CBRN protection, they are always a way to go since they protect against chemicals, biological threats and radioactive dust. Let's take a look at an example. An A2B2P3 filter is suitable for the following contaminants. Gases and vapors of organic compounds with a boiling point above 65 degrees Celsius up to concentrations of 5000 ppm, inorganic gases and vapors up to the same concentration levels, and at least 99.95% particles covered by filter class 3. Never use gas mask with gas or particle filters in an oxygen deficient environment, that means with oxygen level lower than 19% or when oxygen level is simply unknown. Remember that activated carbon filters do not filter carbon monoxide. Do not rely on filters in situations where toxic concentrations are unknown and do not use them if the toxic concentration is higher than the maximum filter class capacity. Modern gas mask filters are produced with round threads 40 mm wide in diameter and with thread pitch of 3.63 mm in accordance with NATO standardization agreement STANAC 4155. Filters with this thread type are widely used all around the world. It isn't, however, the only 40 mm thread type in existence. OZ 40x4 is a normalized 40 mm thread with thread pitch of 4 mm according to Soviet cost state norm. This thread type is still being used in Russian Federation to this day. 
old ghost-threaded gas masks can be found in abundance in all post-Soviet and Eastern Bloc countries, for example, Soviet GP5 or Czechoslovak CM4. Even though both Stanak and Ghost Thread types are 40mm wide in diameter and may seem alike, they have a different thread pitch. Contrary to a myth widespread on the internet, no filters with standardized 40mm threads exist. There is also a newer Ghost Thread, 40 times 3.5, with thread pitch of 3.5mm, which is almost exactly the same as the Stanak one. 40mm Stanak filters, made by Avon Protection, have a unique conformal shape providing a low-profile close fit with masks like Avon FM53. Because of that, such filters might not fit other gas masks properly, so always be sure to use them with dedicated Avon Protection masks. Avon filters also feature a unique humidity indicator, which turns from white to blue, signaling that the filter must be discarded. Whenever you're purchasing gas mask filters, always be sure to get the ones compatible with technical parameters of your gas mask. Remember that using a filter with the wrong thread might result in your mask not sealing properly, even if done correctly. It is also important to mention proprietary gas mask filters, both modern and legacy ones. Those will only work with specific gas mask types, which purposefully limits their use and compatibility. For example, Let's have a look on General Service Respirator GSR, used by British Army. This gas mask uses bayonet lock system compatible only with proprietary teardrop filters. One of the biggest advantages of this system is that it allows filters to be swapped more quickly and safely than in case of 40mm cartridges. Another example of modern gas mask with proprietary filters is M50 used by the US Army. M50 is compatible only with a pair of M61 filters mounted to either side of the mask. Even though M50 features similar bayonet quick-fit system as British GSR, they are not identical and therefore the filters are not cross-compatible. Cheek filter-based gas masks are the prime example of outdated models that should be avoided at all costs unless you're a gas mask collector or historical reenactor. Examples of old gas masks with cheek filters are American M17, Czechoslovak M10 or Soviet PBF. Even if properly sealed and stored, their filters are way past their shelf life and cannot be relied on. Also, every one of these masks uses different type of cheek filters, so there is no compatibility between any of them. On top of that, it is impossible to change them in a contaminated area. Another filter type to be avoided are the ones with various legacy thread diameters, unless you're looking for an interesting addition to your historical collection. We are talking, for example, about filters with 60mm, 42mm or 25mm round threads compatible with truly outdated gas masks from various periods of the 20th century. Thanks for watching! But before this lesson ends, we prepared a small filter reading exercise for you. Use the information you've learned in order to determine what level of protection the filter in this image provides. If you need, you can use the table with filter types available for download through the link in the video description. We hope you enjoyed this video and we're looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of CBRN Academy.